Montana Marriage License. Before you want to marry, you must obtain a Montana Marriage License. Montana Marriage Licenses are issued by the District Court Clerks. Firstly, you have to provide a document, which will show your age, passport, birth certificate. After that, if you are a minor, you must present a document, which will state that the district court has approved your marriage. Women have to present a document, which will state that the applicant has taken a blood test for rubella immunity and the result has been shown to the party for a proposal of marriage. You have to submit an application. You need to fill in some information in the application. At first, you must provide your name, sex, and address in the application. After it, your social security number will be required. Then, you will need to fill in your place and date of birth. You must provide the name and address of your parents or guardians. Lastly, you must provide whether you are related to each other or not. There are different ways to solemnize a marriage in Montana. Clergy can solemnize a marriage, but out-of-state clergies must be registered in Montana. A judge of a court of record can solemnize a marriage. Thirdly, public officials, whose power includes the solemnization of a marriage, can do it. Then a mayor, city judge, or justice of a peace can solemnize a marriage. Montana is the only state where the blood test is the obligatory thing for getting a marriage license. Every female must take a blood test in Montana in order to get a Montana marriage license for rubella immunity, and the tested applicant must see the results. But a female applicant can refuse to take the test, however, they need to present a written consent form which will state that they are acknowledging, receiving, and understanding the written rubella immunity information. In the consent, you must present the reason why you undergo a blood test for rubella immunity. You have to present the information, which will state that the results will provide the women's rubella antibody status. Then you have to provide that you are aware of the risks that can remain uninformed of the rubella antibody status.